The first time I ever tried to play a musical instrument was with my grandfather. He would sit me down in his living room and he taught me how to play just by ear. I think he played by ear and, and we would mess around with you know, old Sinatra songs and things that he knew and later when he got Alzheimer's it was kind of like the connection that brought him back to remembering, like I think I know that song and so that's kind of where I got to understand how music has feelings and how important lyrics are and how much music can really change a person. I love performing. A lot of it is the energy that I get from the crowd and that it's their one night that they spent all this money to be on vacation and they're just wanting to so badly have the best time and they're looking at you and I just feel like I have to give 2,000% of my time. Whether I'm singing the same song for the millionth time or whatever, it's their first time. And so for me to be creating like first time memories for people is amazing. When I was 13 years old, my mom bought me a Martina McBride CD and my dad hung these awesome mirrors from Home Depot on my closet doors and I would just blast that until they yelled at me to stop. But I would say my musical influences definitely are Martina McBride, Aretha Franklin, Diana Krall, Linda Etter, the Bee Gees. I would say that my dream duet would be Randy Hauser for sure. I think his voice has so much power in it and the way he sings you can just feel from his heart that he is meaning every word that he says, like his song, Like a Cowboy. Woo, I love it and I just feel like he would absolutely be someone that I would love to duet with. I've had the honor of performing the national anthem for the SEC basketball tournament, for the Wall Trip Charity Championships for um, the Carolina Hurricanes NHL team. I have the opportunity to perform for NASCAR coming up in February. For me to sing our nation's anthem, to lead everybody into this powerful movement of America being together and recognizing our military and those that are sacrificing is a complete honor for me. And it's something that still to this day gets me emotional before I go to do it, especially when there's a serviceman or woman or family member that they are also honoring at the same time, just standing right next to you, sharing their struggles or their experiences. It gives me that extra boost and I'm like, you know what, this is for you. And everybody I think in that crowd and in that arena gets the same feeling and it's so powerful when everyone comes together. I started a new side project. I just spent a week in Alabama writing some of the coolest songs I didn't even know could come out of me and I cannot wait to release that and put that out there and see what you think about it. It's totally a different part of me so I'm excited to share that piece of me with you and, and see where it goes. I'm excited for my Christmas music to come out. I think music is so impactful and kind of moves you through time and place. and It kind of connects everybody and lets you know that you're not alone. I can be persuaded.